Thanks for joining, Dr. Moss. Can you help answer some vaccine questions for us? I will do my best to help you. Dr. Moss, what happens if I'm late for my second COVID-19 dose? You should get your second dose when you can. That second dose of the Pfizer Moderna vaccine really results in a stronger immune response. Can the vaccine help people who have long haul COVID? There have been intriguing reports that some people with symptoms of long COVID have gotten better after vaccination. One hypothesis would be that the immune stimulus from the vaccine is altering the body's immune response. Should I wear two masks? If your mask is loose fitting, it can be very helpful to put a second mask over that to improve the fit. How long does immunity from COVID-19 vaccination last? At least for the Pfizer vaccine, where we've seen the data, the protection lasts at least six months, but I'm sure it's gonna be longer than that. Wait, we have a question from social media. Hi, Dr. Moss. Is it okay to travel two weeks after your second vaccination dose? Yes, people who are fully vaccinated can travel and don't need to be tested before or after travel unless a, a, another country requires that and don't need to quarantine. Thanks, Dr. Moss. When will young kids be eligible for the COVID vaccine? What's going to happen is that there will be studies, and they're uh, already ongoing, of children from 6 to 12 years of age, and then 2 to 6 years of age, and then even 6 months to 2 years of age. Will we need booster shots in the future? If we start seeing people who are fully vaccinated, who have been hospitalized or die, and they've been infected with a variant, that to me, that's going to be a red flag that we're going to need to be administering additional doses. After a year of quarantine, Who's on your speed dial? I'm one of six siblings. We have set up uh, weekly family Zoom calls on Sundays at 6 p.m. As more people get vaccinated, is herd immunity more or less likely? Definitely more likely. When enough people are immune, the probability of someone who's infectious and able to transmit the virus gets really small. Vaccination is really the way to build up toward herd immunity. Many people are experiencing pandemic fatigue. How do you cope with it? What gives me hope is that we have several highly effective and safe vaccines. We have to hold on a little bit longer, get more vaccines out, get in front of this virus, and then we'll slowly get our lives back to normal. 